is a feast for the eyes with all its historical buildings from the days of the Habsburg dynasty. St. Stephen's Cathedral dominates the skyline. Before I get back to dancing, I'm taking a quick romantic tour of the sights. But there is something else Vienna is famous for. I've come to Vienna to learn to waltz. This dance became popular here in the late 18th century and today it is one of the most famous international standard ballroom dances. And it is also a great wedding dance. The Viennese love putting on balls and they love to glide gracefully over the dance floor. Now I'm hoping to glide too. The waltz is pretty much compulsory at every Vienna dance academy. Professor Wolfgang Wagner's school is no exception. The professor is a bit old school, but I'm allowed to call him just Wolfgang. I'm here to learn the Viennese waltz. Why do the Viennese love the waltz so much? Well, this is the home of the waltz. Vienna without the waltz is unthinkable. It's part of everyday life. And so while we dance all those Latin dances too, we must of course be masters of the waltz. Well, I would like to master the basics. All right, first you go back, to the side, stop, forwards, side, stop, back, side, stop. For the standard dancers, we have a fairly close position. The man takes the woman in his right arm, you put your hand on his upper arm, the other hand at the side. You stand very straight, elbows to the side. Dignified. <laughs> Well, I think I've got the right posture now. Time for all those turns. This is what the waltz is all about. Yeah. Well, I've got the basic steps down. What is the biggest challenge with the waltz? Yeah, it's not so hard. The most difficult thing is the tempo. It's 60 beats per minute. One turn every second, and that's three steps per second. Pretty fast. So I have to get faster. Let's try it. Pushing up the three, four time tempo makes it all more fun. But I've only really mastered the turn to the right so far. We start left, to the center, forward. This is proving a tough challenge, the left turn. It's crucial that you cross over and get back quickly into the basic step. And how do I get back up to Waltz tempo? Do it all at full speed, don't slow down. <laughs> There's no getting out of it. I have to do both right and left turns just like everybody else. But once you've mastered that, that's it. Now come on, just stay here by me. Turn and turn your hips around your partner. Ah, that was wrong. Once again, please. <laughs> With a little more concentration, it works a little better. And while the others float across the dance floor, I'm beginning to enjoy the waltz. Thank you, Wolfgang. Thank you too. <laughs> well, I've done enough twirling now, even if it hasn't been all that perfect. Now it's time for my big moment at the bonbon ball. Fantastic balls like this one in the Konzerthaus are what Vienna is famous for. I soon find a charming young man who does indeed give me the feeling I'm gliding too. With the waltz you only need to manage a few basic steps. But with all the high speed twirling around it is a challenge not to get dizzy. So I decided to leave the gliding gracefully bit to the locals. But as long as I'm being led and we stick to right turns, I'm almost in dancing heaven. 